Yeah. Yeah. Right now. What am I using? Are you serious? I'm using money. No, no, no. <laughs> which one? Oh, which one am I using? I'm using the uh, the Renew, mm -hmm. the Mask Conditioner, mm -hmm. and um, the Two in One for fun sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I use the Intensive Repair Spray on my postpartum hair. Yeah. This is Arlene, by the way. We're at the uh, Alberto Salon again. I just have to share this information. So this is very exciting because we missed out on the Facebook Live the other night. Beautiful salon in Delta, and it's snowing outside. Very snowy outside, by the way. I think I'm going to get stuck on the bridge. Anyway, <laughs> I'm just filling in uh, a little section we missed for the Facebook Live the other night on the scalp analysis machine. So we're here with Alberto. <laughs> Hi, guys. We just signed up three salons. So, um, yeah, we're in momentum here, people. <laughs> so what are we doing here, Alberto? Uh, well, I, I'm, gonna scal I'm, going to, um, I'm going to check your scalp out for you to see how it is, to see what kind of buildup there is on there. Oh, my God. Or to see, on uh, Facebook to Live. See I'm going to be doing it with this little camera here, oh, and that's cheap. on the screen. Okay. That's kind of what you're going to be seeing. Okay, I'm sharing. I'm, I'm very personal here, people. Yes, I'm sharing yes, them Yes, so up. we're going to show you what Arlene has on her scalp. OMG. Uh, yeah, just so you know, we this is our... Our little room where we do our scalp analysis and our scalp training and all that kind of stuff just so that you can see the different parts of the hair and all that kind of stuff so OMG. yeah so typically what we do is we do certain areas of the scalp so that we can get an idea of what we're looking at now you're going to want to shoot that camera over there okay. so that people can see what their what your scalp actually looks like isn't this fascinating okay so seriously don't judge me now this little <laughs> camera, this little camera actually uh, will, it, it magnifies up to 200 times. So what you're going to be seeing could be a little scary for some people. Oh, I'm going to as long so as there's no little go. creepy crawlies in there. So there you go. That is a very fine hair. Now you see the one right beside it, that little white blob there? Yeah. Okay. That is actually a hair follicle that doesn't have a hair coming out of it. But the one next to it has a new hair coming out of it. I have a lot of new ones. Yes. So I'm just going to go up here a little bit. Now you Show see, us the you, goods, Felicia so you says. See, you, see the, uh, you see the hair follicle there? Yes. Yeah, look okay. at the new hair. Now you see that little white one there? That's a new hair. Hi. Okay. You see that new one? Okay. Yeah. So that's that I'm using the there. intensive repair treatment on this yes. area. He's testing on Now, also what we see here, you see, there's, see all that red... That is actual blood flow to the scalp. Healthy scalp? Okay. Uh, yeah, now it's a, if you're seeing it where it's shiny, uh, that is actually a little bit of snow drops and your hair is, a, your scalp's a little wet. Okay, so that's what that's from. That's but true. you see your scalp is very clean because you can see the, you can see the red blood vessels going through your scalp. So crazy. Okay, that's just that one little area. Now, those follicles, you see that follicle, those follicles there? Now there is a little bit of buildup on your scalp still, and I'm going to say that that is probably from sebum, uh, which is the buildup from the sebum, uh, from um, oil producers. Sebum is the oil coming out of your scalp. But your follicles are still fairly clean, which is a good sign. Now you see those white things there? Are you printing this off? Can we no. print this? Can we print it? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Do you want me to? Take, I'll take pictures of it. Don't Heck yeah. Worry. Yeah. I'm gonna okay, put this so in my this, album. Yeah. This is just the one little area here. This one. This is. See the area he's testing everybody. Check it out. Woo. Okay. You see all those little hairs in there. So there's. See there's a little hair coming there. I love baby hair. Come to mama. Yeah. Those are all small hairs that are growing out there. Hi, Kristen. Kristen's logged in from Vernon. Hey, Kristen. How are you doing? Now, Kristen is also an expert in this. She doesn't have the machine at her place, but. If anybody wants to know, she is also trichology trained. Right, Kristen? So there we have, oops here, let's just get one spot there. Oh, oh we don't want to show her gray hair. Ouchie! <laughs> now those white things there, yeah. now that can be uh, a couple of different things. That could be a little bit of dry scalp. That could also be uh, maybe a little bit of product buildup uh, from your previous products, or that could also be sebum built up. Hi, Pete, okay. she says. <laughs> yeah, see, you see how clean that one is there? You can see right through it, yeah. which is very good. That's what, you, that's what you want your follicles to look like. Okay. There's another, <laughs> there's another little baby. Oh, my here. baby! Okay, so you have a couple of follicles there. So that's over there. That's on that side. There's, there's see, another little one there. 
yeah. coming in. Okay, trippy. so that's that side. Yep. Now we'll test the other side, see how that's doing. <laughs> Tell me this isn't fascinating, people. You don't see, see this so every there day. You go. Yeah, there you go, you see? I, I have a lot, my whole area there, my recession zone, was basically bald yeah. postpartum baby. My baby is five years old now, and I've been using so, the Monate yeah. for uh, a few months now. So I've been using the Intensive Repair Treatment Spray for 10 weeks, mm -hmm. and I notice it's totally filled in. So you see those new growths there? Yeah. Now, I want to stress the importance of one thing here for everybody. Uh, okay. You want to... You, you want to be brushing your hair every day because you see some of those tiny little hairs there, although those might be new growths, but they could also be because the old hair that should have fallen out hasn't come out. You see that one there? You see how yeah. it's got another hair growing through Yes. It? Well, that big hair should have fallen out. Oh. Now, because it hasn't, that little one there my baby yeah that one is coming out but it's coming very fine and that's why sometimes you wind up with fine hair when you get when you think your hair is getting thin and less of it it's because that hair hasn't fallen out and a new one can't take its place properly so fascinating okay yes so that's that's what happened that's what happened there can you describe the 90 day period of acclim acclimatizing yes. with when yes. using money well, when using when you use the monate, uh, you need to be at least uh, at least ninety days. Where you see the buildup that uh, that Arlene has on here, something like this could be a little bit of oiliness, uh, you know, sebum buildup. Okay, you gotta you gotta give monate at least thirty days to to help detoxify the scalp. So it gets rid of the sebum. It'll help to get rid of any buildup that's on the scalp. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. So that's uh, that's very very important. You might go uh, again. You're going to go through that detoxifying period, okay? But then after that, man, your hair is going to rock. So <laughs> you got to give it a chance, people. Don't just assume that it's going to be. So right if away. Some, you have somebody that say, for example, he starts using money and then their hair starts falling out. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Yeah. So what's it's that? It's because all? it's cleansing all that off of there, so and that funky. hair that should have fallen out is now falling out. Remember, you gotta sham or you gotta when you're scrubbing your scalp, make sure don't be afraid to scrub nice and hard to get to loosen everything up. Don't be afraid to brush nice and hard. How about those people that everything. shampoo their hair with coconut oil? Well, you know what? Here's the thing. It's going to clog your pores. It's gonna clog your, your follicles. So okay? it's it's not good, is what it's you're saying. Not, yeah. 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 You're putting oil on top of an already oily scalp. So what good is that doing? You see that build up there? Yeah. Okay. Now this is from the back of the head. This is correct. And I'm and I'm going to venture to say that Arlene, I'm sorry, you're probably not scrubbing hard enough back here. Oh, I'm gee, seriously? Okay. Wow. Because <laughs> I yeah. actually scrub it. I actually yeah, scrub it. I'm sure you do, but you're not scrubbing it hard enough. And wow. And this part of the head, if you think about, you know, when you're when you're, it really is a little bit harder to do. But you see, you got two hairs coming out of that yeah. one follicle. Yes. Okay. Well, that's why. One there should only has... be one. Are yeah, you saying? There, there should, should only be, be one. Yeah, OMG, only be one. this is fascinating. There should only be one. Hey, Catherine, I'm on the hair analysis machine. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. This is a party. So there you go. You see, those ones are a little bit little bit healthier. Sorry, I'm, I'm real. Skeleton's out of the okay. closet here. So. I can't hide. Okay. He's got the machine. Yeah. Hi, Winnie. Yeah. Winnie. OK, that's a tough. He's oh, analyzing my scalp, Let's Winnie. Let's try one other one. <laughs> Look how nice and healthy those ones are. Now, okay, you see, you... now you see on the hair shafts themselves. Yes. Okay. Yeah, give me some hearts for this awesomeness. Okay. This is awesome. Yes. Now those those see see on the the uh, I mean on the hair itself. Yes. There's a little bit of buildup on them too, That's which amazing. I'm sure is getting cleansed by the monate. Yes. Okay. I had a lot of dandruff after the second third month of using monate. Did you? And then, well, it, and then, isn't that, isn't that funny? Isn't it? That Can you tell be, us why? Well, that would be because it's cleansing, it's detoxifying. You're you're exfoliating like, all of that stuff off of your scalp. Like it was, it was like worse than high hair. school. Wait, yeah, when I was well, in high school, I was using Head and Shoulders way back. Really? Well, you see, now that's the thing with Head and Shoulders that you can tell all your clients and everything like that. Head and Shoulders has what's called. So that's all the, the pictures we need to take for there. Okay, cool. Head and Shoulders has uh, zinc periostinine in it. What zinc periostinine does is it actually masks the problem, okay? Mm -hmm. It masks the problem. And zinc periostinine, so here's, here's, here's how things work, everybody. 
Um, this is the blood vessels to your scalp. This is the papilla. This is where the hair starts. The hair root and the hair follicle itself. Now, when I was explaining that you had two hairs coming out of one, yes. it's because one hair didn't come out when it should have, and the other one was growing through it. When you had that small one growing through and you had that big my one, baby, remember? Yes, yeah, and you had that baby. That's because this hair hadn't fallen out yet. Yeah. And that baby one was actually coming through the side here, which has... Normally, the hair will take the diameter of the follicle. Yeah. But if it doesn't come out, it will take whatever root it can, and it comes through here, but it comes through very fine and very thin. Interesting. Okay? These are the sebaceous glands. This is what, this is what makes the oil, or the sebum, so that your scalp... Or I mean, so that the hair will glide through properly. Gotcha. Okay? These will sometimes go crazy, and cr this is what creates the oily scalp. Yes. It's not your hair that's oily, it's your scalp that's oily. Yep. Okay? Monate will help these sebaceous glands, especially the rebalance system, yep. where it balances out your scalp, it balances out the, the sebum, or the sebaceous glands and everything, and it will help with cleansing so the, the people scalp. that get, like, they start using Monate, and then, like, within month two, they start getting a lot of dandruff. Yeah. What does that mean? Is it a bad thing? Do they carry no, on? No, no, it's, it's, no, keep going. Because because you're exfoliating all that buildup that's on your skin. Yeah. And, 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 and this here. Now, here's another interesting thing that you should know about hair growth, or the hair itself. The hair has 10, year, 10 life cycles. Okay. What I mean by that is that from the, it, each life cycle is worth 10 years. So you should theoretically have hair from the time you're born till you're 100, okay, you should have hair. After that is when you should actually start losing hair, right? So what happens is if this, this one hair has done its 10-year cycle and you haven't brushed your scalp and you haven't taken that old hair out, well, that new hair can't do its 10-year cycle. Yes. Right? Yeah. And, th and that's what happens. So what you want to do, what you want to do is make sure that your scalp is nice and clean this is all nice and healthy. So people here. that have fine hair that are using the shampoo, you want them to scrub their scalp. Yes. And you Don't need be afraid. To, don't be afraid to scrub. You know, if you if you're losing hair and you're afraid of it, don't be because uh, you want to exfoliate all of that out of there. You want to get those old hairs out. You want to get uh, you want to get all of that um, cleaned up. Now, don't forget there are so many reasons why people lose hair. You know, there's thyroid problems, there's uh, uh, there's things with uh, uh, medical problems, there's health, you know, uh, like uh, um, gut health, all of that kind of, there's so many, especially in women, there are so many things that can go wrong in women. In men, there's only one thing, and that's this right over here, Beauty. and that's from the DHT, <laughs> that's from the DHT. But in women, unfortunately, there are so many things that can go wrong with, with uh, why they lose hair, okay? The biggest one is scalp health. Is uh, is probably number one. Um, Hi, Isabel. Yeah. Hello, Isabel. We're we're, we're learning about hair loss. Uh, yeah. With... yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, here's we're back a, here's a big picture of yours again. Hey, Isabel, check out my scalp. Yeah. <laughs> we yeah. need to go coffee. P.S. Isabel, I need yeah. my haircut on a sidebar. <laughs> I actually am. I booked it and I had to cancel. Okay. So that's that's pretty well it. That's that's kind of it in a nutshell. Fascinating. Yeah. Wow, thank you so much for sharing this, Alberto. You're very welcome. So it's about, My pleasure. about you, you recommend like a 90-day stick with it oh, for the detox yeah. period. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. You know, the systems that we were using before, we would do a thing called a uh, residue on scalp treatment, which, you know, we would remove the residue. And uh, it's a long process. It takes an hour and a half to do. There's so much stuff that you got to do with it. And then, we, then you'd have to come in and do, uh, uh, you know, another system. Every, th every month you would have to come in for three months to do... Uh, to have us do uh, another program on you and everything like that. With Monet, you use the product and that's it. Okay, There's I, no I need you to stuff. speak to one of my friends. Do you think Isabel should try this stuff? Isabel? My good friend Isabel, yes. Well, she I, has don't, the shampoo. I don't know you, Isabel, but listen. Open your mind. You got you to gotta clean your hair somehow. <laughs> you might as well use a product that's good for you. I'll bring you by some right? bottles. There you go. Drop it off today if you're working, my friend. There you go. <laughs> is Isabel working in a salon? Yes, she is. Okay. You know, you owe it to yourself and to your clients. Talk to this woman. Okay. You owe it to yourself <laughs> and to your clients. It's to true. To make sure that they are using the best possible products. And, uh, you know, I, I got into the hair loss industry because of my daughter. Uh, my daughter uh, lost, uh, was losing a lot of hair. 
and uh, now she's doing really well with it. You know, she's researched a lot. She has the, you know, she went through a lot of stuff and uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that, you know, she's using the Monate products and for the first time in the, since she's lost, she's been losing hair, this is the first time she's actually said, Dad, I'm not losing as much hair. And, you know, she's still upset that it's not growing, uh, growing back, but I keep saying to her, how do you know? You've still got so much hair. How do you know it's not growing back? And it's because, you know, that's what, how she feels. And you haven't scalp analyzed and her And I yet. haven't scalp, yeah, that's right. I haven't analyzed her scalp yet, but. Uh, but she's going to do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. My daughter is very, very faithful. When when she gets on something, you know, she's actually quite an expert in her own right on health and uh, and that because she's had to learn a lot because of her hair loss. Uh, so uh, I have to give her a lot of kudos and a lot of uh, I'm very proud of her for doing all that. She knows more about it than I do. So considering you're a director on the board of the. Beauty Council of yeah. BC, and yeah. you have a salon with a hair clinic yeah. and BPS. We just signed in another three salons today. Yes. Rock yep. and roll high five. Yeah. Thank you. Um, do you think the stuff works? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've seen it work. I've seen how it works. I, uh, um, you know, I, I've got, I've seen clients with new, with new growth. Uh, again, my daughter is my prime, is my prime example. And what uh, would you say to the skeptical stylists that are like, I don't like MLM. Well, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a real MLM, uh, or I wasn't a real MLM fan because I've never had a product that really talked to me. Uh, and, uh, as a stylist, uh, you mean? Yeah, as a stylist. As a stylist. And uh, here I am. I'm in the industry uh, of hair. I have been since Elvis died in uh, 1977. OMG. Uh, yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and, and the fact that... Um, um, you know that I've been in it so long. I've had many people try to get me into so many different MLM products, but here's the truth: MLM is just a different way of distributing product. It's uh, uh, it's no different than a distributor coming into my salon and selling me all of their products, whether it's uh, uh, AG, whether it's Wella, whether it's uh, uh, Redken, whether it's uh, doesn't matter who it is. They are distributors, and they come in and they sell me their products, and I sell it off my shelf. With MLM, it's basically I order the products online, what I need, I sell, I order it again, I sell, and I get. And if I'm excited about it, I get other people to sell for me as well, and I get to make some money off of it as well. So it's just a different distribution channel. It all depends on if you're really excited about all that stuff because there's so many of them on the market. Monet is the only one that speaks to hair. And, and how, that's has, your, why how has your experience been with it in terms of making money for a typical stylist? Uh, well, right now uh, in my salon, we I've been in it now for a month and a half, and I've just put through my third thousand dollar order. Um, and as a matter of fact, this order that I have coming in, which will be in next week, in one month, you're saying? Yes, in one month, and I will be uh, I will have to reorder again because this order is already pre-sold. Uh, so, it's a know, clue, people. Yeah, it's already pre-sold. Wicked. Uh, so, so I'm going to have to order again, and uh, you know, now before Christmas, obviously, I'm going to have to order even way more. So. Well, thank you so much, Alberto. You're very welcome. Do you have any other closing words for the skeptical stylists out there? Don't be, because again, like I say, you have to, or you have to have your clients using something. If you are a stylist that is not teaching your uh, clients about hair care, you are not finishing your job. You're not doing your job. Okay, so you don't have to sell them anything, you just have to educate them. And if you're going to educate them on shampoo and uh, conditioners, and all, you might as well educate them on something that is totally natural, that is good for them, that works, and really works. It, it, it's great stuff. I mean, we wouldn't sell it if it wasn't. So I, I can honestly say that. Wonderful. Yeah. Love it. I love working with you, Alberto. Hey, I love working with you too. Sir Alberto. I'll forget the sir. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, I hope you all have a lovely day. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry ho-ho. Yeah. <laughs>